Welcome back, I'm Adam Johnson and this is the NFA Review Channel. Today we're going to take an in-depth look at the new Extreme Series console safe from Locker Down. Uh, if you guys have followed my channel for any amount of time, uh, you've probably seen the review on this original safe. I actually had to look back at my video library, found out I filmed this review December of 2013. So it's been in use for quite some time. I uninstalled it this morning so we can compare it with the Extreme to see what uh, Locker Down did with the upgrades. So uh, I'm just as excited as you are to get this box open. I wanted to kind of unbox it on video to show you just how well packaged these things come to your house uh, so they arrive without any damage. So without further ado, let's roll that intro and get down to it. Alright, got my spider co here. Go ahead and cut the packing tape. I don't nor normally do uh, unboxing videos on my channel, so this is definitely a new one for me. Let's see how well this thing will sit. Alright, we got some nice uh, custom made foam, looks like just for locker down. Mine has the new electronic lock in it. Now let's figure out how to get this thing out of here. Maybe like this. These things are beasts. Nice. Did I just one take this? I think I did. And we have instruction manual here. Throw this down. Beautiful. Remember the first one that came, it came with uh, styrofoam, so it looks like they've uh, talked to some companies to custom make them some shipping foam. Probably saves them some money too in the long run. Okay, well, here you have it. All right, we have it unboxed. The boring part is out of the way. Let's cover what makes this safe so badass. So uh, right off the bat, Locker Down products are made in Texas by Texans from domestically sourced steel. So 100% made in the good old United States, which is huge in my book. No cheap Chinese made product here. Um, so the differences between this safe and the old safe, just from me knowing both products pretty well, um, this still has the 12 gauge cold rolled steel body, and then it has a skeletonized inner lid of 12 gauge steel, but with 10 gauge plate steel welded to that for increased strength. And then you also have the lip of the lid actually goes over the gap by good amount here so you can't get any pry tools up under here uh, in between the joint like you could on the old unit. Um, it also has a really neat feature that I think they should probably advertise a little bit more. It's got a USB port right here. So you flip this little lever and there's a USB port here and then uh, you can charge your phone or iPod or whatever inside the safe and leave the cord going out from here to your, you know, radio system, whatever, and you won't have to worry about it getting stolen. Um, because on the 2014 and up Tundra, there's a reason why there's a cutout here. On the inside of the console, there is a cigarette lighter port there. Uh, where on my old safe, I had a Streamlight rechargeable uh, system uh, drilled into the inside of the safe so I can mount a light. Um, so this gives other options, which is pretty neat. So mine does have the upgraded lock. So you have your choices of locks here, you always have. Um, you have your four digit combi, which is what uh, I just came from. You have your tubular, your Abloy high security lock that you probably see normally at like a safety deposit box at a bank. And then you have this new, really nice touchpad um, upgraded electronic lock, um, which if something happens and you forget your uh, code they can actually reset uh, from the factory if you write down the serial number uh, to this. They actually have an, o an a, uh, override code for the end user which is really neat so no worries about you having a case of dementia and forgetting how to get into your safe. So overall I really like what they did with the outside. Definitely more aesthetically pleasing electronic lock than their old version and definitely a robust safe. So let's go ahead and open it here. Uh, I already looked at the manual off camera. The factory code is uh, 1234567 8 
I believe you can do a lot more than eight digits. 15 digits long, so wow, 15 digit long combos. Uh, pretty secure. I don't think mine's going to be that long because I want to be able to get into it in the case of emergency. So it's like one of those heat touch ones, you know? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Here a long beep. Open. Woo. Nice spring loaded lid. Let me, let me hold this thing down to the table. That is no joke. That is actually definitely upgraded spring from my last safe. So inside the safe, we have the hardware to secure this uh, safe to the inside of my 2014 Toyota Tundra. Obviously, installation is going to be a little different on all your vehicles out there, uh, but I will show you real quick what this looks like in the finished product and how to do so. And then it's got a foam pad in the bottom that exposes the two screw holes for these. And then you also get I don't know if he threw these into the deal. I just think he's doing a special right now. Ugh. Two locker down gun magnets wrapped in a nice soft plastic uh, that you can secure, Jesus, to the inside of the safe uh, to mount a gun, which for today's video, uh, I think we're gonna try the new Glock 19X with the new uh, CGS Group Kraken SK. Full review on the full size, S uh, full size Kraken and the SK coming right after NRA annual meeting show uh, this May. I'm actually flying out uh, in two days to head to Dallas for that. So finally getting to the CGS reviews, guys. Sorry about the wait. Um, here you got the USB cord. Okay, that just hangs down from that top port. I wonder if you can unplug it. No, it looks like that. that is one piece. Okay, so that's where that is your port for the cigarette lighter and then we'll take a closer look at the lid this is definitely substantial uh, steel here you can see where it's been skeletonized you can see where the hardened steel latch for the lock is very well protected uh, with two layers of steel and then you have the hole that the lock goes into and then i'll show you some b-roll here close-ups of the inside of the safe there's actually two areas where that slides into so it actually locks way in up here and there's definitely no way for anybody other than a serious, serious thief that's bringing literal angle grinder power tools with them to the parking lot during their little smash and grab activities to even think about getting in a safe like this. There's just, there's no way. And you know, with being in a public area and alarms, if you've got a car alarm and you layer your security and you park under a street light, you have a car alarm, maybe a two-way pager, and you have this, guys, short of them taking your actual vehicle and then getting into this later, there's no way in hell they are getting into this. And actually, there's a lot of uh, after-the-fact burglary videos on the Lockerdown website of actual testimonial uh, reviews of people who have had their car smashed and grabbed and they had this safe and nobody could get into it, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to get this in the truck, guys. Uh, let's go ahead, head out to the garage for a change of some scenery, get some fresh air. Let's throw this thing in the old Tundra, see what it looks like. All right, everybody, made it out to the garage. Uh, it's gonna have to do for the lighting. I didn't wanna put it out in the sun because I would literally melt in this Florida heat. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this install as if you guys at home own the 2014 to 2018 Toyota Tundra. Pretty straightforward, actually. All the safes on this side are pretty straightforward for the install. Uh, so what you're going to do is remove the little carpet that comes in your Tundra. Scrap that. Not going to need that anymore. And then you're going to have a 10 millimeter bolt on the front passenger side and a 10 millimeter bolt on the rear driver's side. You're going to want to remove both of those because it comes with replacement screws to make up for the different width now of the bottom of the safe. You have a longer one and a shorter one. Your longer one's gonna be on the rear driver's side and your shorter one is gonna be on the front passenger side. Uh, so, also a little tip, as I, I already drilled the pilot holes in the front of the safe here. So, installation of the Streamlight rechargeable pack that I had in the old safe is a lot easier than trying to fit a drill up in here. So definitely do that uh, before you drop the safe in. And then <clears throat> once we get it installed, we can go ahead and find some suitable locations for the locker down magnets. 
Um, it will not hold the gun with a suppressor in this, unfortunately, even though it is a very big safe. Uh, it will lay it on. It will lay on the floor with the, with the can on it. But I'm gonna have all kinds of documentation in there, so I can't have a gun bouncing around. What I'll probably do is put is use the 3M tape on the back to secure one magnet on the left, one magnet on the right, uh, for two reasons. Uh, one, if the tape doesn't hold, it's sure as hell gonna make my life easier to at least hold it up, so I can drill some self-tapping short machine screws through the safe while it's in my truck. Uh, so the tape will help hold it up. But I wanna put one on the left, one on the right. Two reasons. Road trip, I can have my handgun accessible, my wife can have hers accessible for a draw from the safe off of the magnets. Or if she's not with me, I can throw a suppressor on the passenger side magnet because even if it's an aluminum can, you guys know that the housings are usually made from stainless steel. 17.4 heat treat something like that and that will stick to that it will hold so yeah we'll do that at the end and see what it looks like uh, so i already removed obviously the factory screws because i already had the old model of the safe in here so let's go ahead and drop this thing in oh god all right that thing is freaking substantial love it and I love how this lock, even unlocked, clears all the molding on the lid here, on the factory lid, which is awesome. All right, let's go ahead and grab the two 10 millimeter bolts. I'll climb up in here in this freaking hot truck. I'll go ahead and start with the rear one. Let me go ahead and see if I can find the hole here. I think that's it. And then, yeah, get it started. And I'll go ahead and uh, fast forward this to some Benny Hill. Ta-da! Two bolts, and I can literally shake my entire truck by pulling on that thing. This thing is freaking solid. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see if I can install that charger and the gun magnets. All right, everybody went ahead and backed out the truck, try to get some better lighting here and uh, get a nice little cross breeze. It's getting a little stuffy in the garage. So picture yourself driving along. You need to access your gun. Super easy to do here. Um, throw the lid up, throw in your code. Mine will be shorter than the default. Hit OK, lid flies up out of the way, and you have access to your gun. I went ahead and mounted the 19X on the left, like I was talking about earlier. And then I have the other magnet on the right side where I have the Kraken SK stored. Uh, holds it just fine. Um, can also throw a gun on the other side. Now, while I'm screwing around with this off camera, I realized that uh, the 3M tape is actually holding these mounts just fine. It's not moving around at all, so I don't even think I need to screw around with the self-tapping screws, which is a nice addition. I uh, have my light mounted. Everything's good to go there. Got the charger. So pretty uh, nice little setup, guys. You can fit a decent amount of guns in here. I know you can take down an AR-15, like a seven and a half -er, and uh, take it apart, and it will fit in here. So the Tundra has a huge, huge safe. Um, a lot of you guys have already seen the review that I did on the locker down rifle safe that they have. Uh, for some model vehicles, they do have it for this truck. Uh, super awesome safe, runs the length of underneath the entire back seat. Uh, same construction, has some gas struts for the lid, really nice. I can fit a couple long guns in there, body armor, magazine, stuff like that. Uh, so if you haven't checked that out, check that out right now. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's a different format that you're used to seeing. Uh, but it is a safe and I don't review a lot of them uh, So I kind of had to just make up the format as we went uh, So a little recap the extreme series you're gonna pay an extra 40 bucks But with that 40 bucks you're gonna get the USB port access uh, the better constructed area where the latch goes and the overlap for the lid as well as the welded on 10 gauge plate upgrade for the lid so for 40 bucks I mean we spend that on one scotch sometimes when we go out to dinner. So uh, super, super worth 
the money. Let me go ahead and unlock it again here. I really need to reset this code today. Um, when it's locked, I mean, the latch is out of the way, the lid, everything looks super clean and high-end, professional. Uh, there is no shake. I saw he added a, um, a little, uh, you know those little felt pads you can put on the bottom of furniture so it doesn't screech across the floor? Well, that's actually on the, uh, on the underside here, inside that groove. So if there is play, which there is not, uh, you won't have any vibration sounds coming from your console when you're rolling down the road. Uh, so, really neat safe guy, super easy to access. <laughs> that is a little insane. Um, if you want to order the same safe that I have here in today's video, this is the Extreme with the electronic lock upgrade. He is running a special right now. If you spec it out with the lock upgrade and you use code NFA2018, he's going to knock off another 50 bucks for you guys. So instead of a $150 upgrade, it's really only a $100 upgrade. And really, my personal opinion, this is way, way worth it. Um, you can even access the battery panel from the top here, which is nice. Takes a 2032 flat battery. If you have any issues, uh, you can just, excuse me, you can just swap out that battery. So, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Make sure to click that like and subscribe button. I'm going to uh, jump on a plane here in two days, head out to the NRA show, get some coverage for you guys there, uh, work out some new uh, video ideas, and then I'll be hitting the ground running when I get home. So again, click that like and subscribe button, guys, because you don't want to miss a thing. See you next time.